I was shuffling the cards earlier and um, this hermit card fell out and this is um will be used as your crowning energy for this month all right so let's set that aside and I've already shuffled the cards let's lay the cards out here I have the strength card in reverse the king of pentacles in reverse the uh, seven of pentacles in reverse in upright sorry the queen of wands in reverse ten of wands upright the five of wands in reverse the nine of swords upright and the queen of pentacles in reverse all right so um i know that um all of january you you've been dealing with energy just um very negative energy circling back in from you know November and also December and then January is basically when everything just um, culminated and a lot of you have experienced you know breakups and um, just people leaving your lives and things like that just catastrophic events that made you reassess um, your your life your life path and how to proceed uh, with your life so I just want you to keep in mind that um with this hermit energy coming out um, very early in the month I feel that um, this is definitely a month for you to spend a lot more time looking within for answers and I think um, I mentioned this last month too and I feel that a lot of Gemini's you tread a little bit too lightly through life you are not making the connection between um, the consequences between, you know, actions and consequences. You're not making that connection between what you really want and the steps that you're taking to achieve that. So the you're not linking up cause and effect, basically. And because of that, you've spent the last few years of your life treading through life and in a very you know light-hearted playful manner which is fine which is fine but I just want you to know for those of you who are getting in and out of relationships and for those of you who are not truly um, who are not truly aware of what you're doing then you're attracting the wrong type of people and you're attracting the wrong type of attention and you're not being very honest with your partner or you're not being very honest with yourselves about um, what you really even want out of life just because you've never taken the time to do the introspection so I feel this is a very um, essential month for you to do that look within yourself don't get distracted by other people and don't get in in and out of relationships and using that as a distraction for you from this process of self-contemplation okay it is very important for you to do this just so you can um, it's just for your emotional spiritual growth which is good but overall so that you can you know better so that you can make better decisions and move forward with this year I feel that this year has a lot of potential but you have to work through yourself you have to build up yourself so that you can bring other people into your your life into your fold and that you can be a very productive partner in a relationship so um, in general I don't see a lot of coupling energy a lot of like overly romantic energy permeating this month and um, I'm actually going to pull out two more cards just because of um, the, the two reversals at the end. So you have the world in the reverse position and you have the page of cups. So um, I will go through each card. But um, the overall energy I'm getting is, you know, you're not taking enough time off for contemplation, for introspection. And you're not coming to terms with how... Um, your actions in the past have affected other people so that is a very important thing for you to learn this month and for you to get down so that you can advance and that you can make yourself a better person for other people to want to be around you okay so it's very important um, with the hermit card to um, the hermit is also the card of uh, Virgo and Virgos in general in, and especially in this context it is a, a person who is very self-sufficient who is very um, this person um, the, the Virgo characteristics are riding out and are helpful to a Gemini 
in that a Virgo is very self-sufficient. A Virgo knows how to take care of herself, her or himself. And a Virgo always, always feels complete when they're of service to other people. So a Virgo is self-sufficient and they're also helpful to the people around them. This is a, These are very important characteristics for a Gemini to learn just because... Um, as a Gemini, you don't really know how to be in partnerships and you don't really know how to be helpful to other people, okay? You tend to do things your way, which is fine, but um, just know that if you're in a partnership, it's compromise. And it's also learning to stand on your own two feet, learning to be okay but alone by yourself so that you build a healthy um, self-esteem so that you can learn how to be in a relationship with other people. So having the qualities of the Hermit and of the Virgo characters in general would be really beneficial for you. You have to learn to be self-sufficient to take care of yourself and to be alone by yourself without the interference and the distraction of other people, which would you know distract you from achieving your life goals and also to teach you to be independent, okay? So, and on, you know, at, on the most, um, at the, the best, <laughs> what am I saying? At best, it's also encouraging you to be of, uh, of service to other people. Learning to be helpful, um, learning to stand on your own two feet, and also helping those who are less fortunate than you, okay? Virgos are very good about serving others, so it's important for you to learn these lessons as you get through life. And it's also to um, to to basically start getting rid of the karma that you've accumulated, especially in 2014 too. And um, I feel that this is the right month for you to do that. Um, I've been getting a lot of reverse cards for Gemini too with this world right here. The opportunities are there for you, so I feel that, that this is a lot of karma and like emotional baggage from the past that you haven't worked through yet. So this card right here is indicating service for to other people and trying to help other people. That would be a very good way for you to work through some of this past karma that you've been accumulating and you know, they're blown up in your face since um the end of last year. So um, let's move on. And like I said, this is a general reading, okay? So don't freak out about bad karma if you haven't been doing anything wrong. But um, I do want to emphasize that um, I'm getting this very strongly for Geminis in general. Um, you're treading through too lightly through life and you're not introspective enough to know how your actions affect other people. So it is very important for you to take a clear look at yourself this month and make some changes, okay? So let's let's move ahead with this reading. Um, okay, so this is also in reverse and it's a card of resistance. Um, resisting changes, resisting, you know, the, the turn of events and... Uh, not being able to be on your own two feet and it, it's a card of with the hermit energy it's um not knowing how to be alone not knowing how to be self-sufficient and i feel that you know you have so much expansive energy this year uh this month so like don't waste it don't waste it with like idle fears don't waste it by second guessing yourself and being doubtful and also um it is definitely the time for you to take on the responsibility. So if you've been going through life treading very lightly and um, feeling yourself not getting anywhere, I think this is a, the time for you to be a grown-up about it and take on that responsibility that you've shirked in the past just because you feel that you're not ready. You are more capable than you're letting on. So please, this is a good month for you to do that because the universe is on your side and... Um, Whenever changes are imposed um, on us and we're not receptive, changes will basically um, be forced on us. Okay, so the first time change comes knocking on your door, if you don't, you know, embrace it, the second time it's going to be like a, it's going to be like kind of like a floodgate that forces itself upon you and it's going to be really difficult for you to accept at that point but you would have no choice so I would urge you you know um, it's a year for you to stand on your own two feet okay and I know you're you're really afraid of 
with the strength card in reverse over this, you are really afraid of taking on additional responsibility because you want to travel light. You want your independence and you don't want to have to, um, you don't want to have to like cater to anybody else. But just know that you're not actually catering to anybody else. You're just taking on the responsibilities that you have allowed into your life. So it's it's time to be a grown up about this and to, you know, do grown up things and take on grown up responsibilities because you're going to realize very quickly as we get older, um, we're going to have more responsibilities imposed upon us and the things that are worth keeping are the things worth fighting for and hanging on for. Okay, so separate the things that don't matter from the things that do early on in your life so that you invest your time and your energy into the things that actually matter that way you don't end up empty-handed at the end of your life because that would be a very very sad um, thing to, to have at the end of your life so just really please be aware of this okay I just want you to have like a wonderful year for 2015 without all the troubles from the past um, I know 2014 has been really rough so Take my advice on this, okay? So work hard for what you want. And learn to stand on your own. This is um, him shouldering all the burdens. So it, th this is not a bad card, but learning to um, stand on your own. And knowing that, you know, it's okay when others don't agree with you. And you have to defend your beliefs. You have to defend yourself. And your ability your self-worth and your value system are not diminished in any way just because others don't agree with you so keep that in mind all right um i feel that for a lot of you this uh, person would be very instrumental in uh, grounding you so you're an air sign this is an earth sign man or woman this is possibly somebody around your age and um, it is an earth sign, so a Virgo, like I mentioned before, a Virgo, a Taurus, or a um, Capricorn. So somebody in your midst that is an earth sign would be a really strong grounding force for you. Because um, earth and air, in general, are not like the best uh, romantic partners. But um, the earth people have the ability the qualities of the earth people is very attractive to especially a Gemini just because they're so structured and they're they have the you know the the strength the inner strength the resilience the independence and like the um, the calmness and the um, the peacefulness of this Virgo person too so they're a very um, strong and grounding force in your life so um, this is a situation where, like I say, um, you know, be a little more resilient. Um, look at what you're doing and analyze the situation. Step back every once in a while and assess and see if this is still serving you, okay? I feel that um, Geminis like to dabble in multiple projects, so make sure that um, you assess whatever projects you're taking on and see if it still brings you the uh, financial satisfaction. I don't think finances are going to be terrible this year, uh, this month. I just don't see a lot of that. So this is not a, a finance related reading, but it's more of um, diverting your energy into the right thing. So if something is no longer serving you, you get to pick and choose what you abandon. If something no longer serves you, you have to be proactive in implementing that change and removing that thing from your plate that way you have more time more energy and you're more efficient about what you put in and what you get out of it okay so instead of distracting yourself with all these side projects stick to a few that actually pay out that brings you emotional satisfaction okay and at the same time don't abandon projects too soon um, the next situation that I have is um, okay so if you are involved with the earth sign person, and I feel this is a separate energy, this is a separate person coming in, there's another um, earth sign person coming into your life, an earth sign with like a lot of fiery energy within them too, so this is not a stable person, they might come off as an earth sign, but they have a lot of fire in them, so they're not very stable, they're a little more volatile, and they're a little more independent, um, I just feel that it is connected to this card is the nine of swords in that um, 
thinking about them is keeping thoughts about them are keeping you up at night and you're in a situation where um, okay so this woman is like this she's shown up in reverse and she is looking away so this person has already you know left you behind the 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 um, the freedom to bring in other things into your life okay so please please um, don't let things go and um, let things go accept the changes and let new things in okay but really be be discerning about what you want left in your life so I just feel that um you know with this world energy I, I feel that in the process of cleaning out your closet cleaning out your emotional baggage and you know all the people or all the situations that are no longer suitable for you moving on in February in for this year you're going to end up with a, a lot of things you're gonna have a lot of abundance but um, you're not fully appreciative of the abundance that is still left in your life or all the potential that could you know come in at the um, throughout the year so you're still in a state of mind where you want something that isn't meant to be so you're still you know you're still soaking like like that yeah I, I don't think there's another term for it you want something so badly that when it doesn't work out you're still pining over it you're still soaking over it rather than appreciating the things that are still left okay so this is a month in which you start to appreciate them so I, I just feel you you know this card and this card is is between you or like on either side of this um, this queen of pentacles and it, like I said it's a could be a male or female an earth sign so you still want that earth sign back into your life and you're trying to be rational you're approaching her this way trying to explain yourself she is not hearing it and um, you're approaching her from this way expressing yourself um, you're trying to uh, appeal to her emotionally but she's still not having it so the important thing for you to do is invest in things that pan out invest in people who have always been there for you and the people that don't want you in their lives anymore they've made it clear they've made it very very clear at this point so respect their wishes just know that um, these are very honest women right here so the queen of wands and the queen of pentacles so like a fire energy and an earth energy these two people are extremely honest they know what they want so if they tell you you know something even though it's something you don't want to hear just know that they've already made up their mind and just know that um, they're saying it in the politest way possible so that you would could you know so so that you could understand and then you know don't try to go back and change their mind because it's finalized they've thought it through okay um, I don't want to say hurtful things but um when people are very straightforward with you you just have to accept the truth and I feel like as a Gemini you might have difficulty doing that just because you like I, I said you tread through life very lightly we know how this plays out for you as well through February but the important thing is um, I hope this gives you you know enough guidance to go through the month and as well just um, just be respectful of boundaries as well okay be respectful of boundaries alright I will see you again next week for the weekly reading or next month for March reading 